Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh, there's my sweet girl. Yeah. So beautiful. A little gratuitous puppy time. Yes, puppy. Alright, everybody. I got my trusty sidekick Heidi here. And we are going to do something a little different today. We're going to paint. And uh, a lot of people are really hard on themselves about creating artwork. And they always say these negative things like, oh, it's terrible looking. But you know what? When you pick a photo and you paint it, it's not supposed to look exactly like the photo. It's supposed to look like your interpretation of that photo. And your interpretation is beautiful. So first thing you do is get inspired. So I highly recommend that you, you know, choose a photo that you like. It is of the Tetons at sunset. And I thought it was just particularly beautiful. It's a mix of kind of purples and blues and grays and the dark mountains and there's some trees in there. And so basically, we're gonna use some acrylic paints and we're gonna do some easy step-by-step -step things to like get this thing started. And so the first thing I like to do is I like to make a plan. So this is kind of how I plan out all my projects, you know, on a piece of paper, like normal people. And um, so this is the Teton's wall mural. And I've decided to do two large canvases. These are, I think, two feet by three feet canvases, and I'm gonna do two of them. Um, so I basically took one photo, which is this, and kind of extended it to a second photo. So like I said, you know, this is just, the photo is just inspiration. So you pick a photo that you like, and then you just kind of start picking out colors and experimenting with different things, and it'll be fine. This is gonna be easy peasy. So we got our gesso here, and the first step we gotta do actually is um, we need to gesso our canvas, and then we are actually gonna add some color to the canvas. So one pro tip I picked up recently is that uh, by adding some color to the gesso when you paint the canvas, these are pre-gessoed canvases, but when you uh, paint the layer, a second layer of gesso, which I always recommend, um, you can put some colors in there and it kind of helps you from getting snow blind, as they call it, I guess. And uh, I have found that it, it's really helpful and it actually works pretty well. So I don't use an actual palette because I don't like cleaning things. So I use a simple paper plate and we have some water here and I just use a regular old painter's brush, but whatever, you know, artist brushes you got will work. Okay. So. Now that we're in position here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna clean this off like so. And then the colors that you put in the gesso, it's not like super critical that they match the final colors that you're gonna use. So really this is just like a layer that's kind of an approximation layer of like, this is what we're going for. And of course we got some tea here. Probably move that away from the paint. There we go. Nice, nice. All right. Just put out some of this gesso. Gesso or gesso, whatever, you know. And we're gonna need kind of a lot. We're gonna do two canvases. But since the tiny human of the house is screaming, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure how far we're gonna get, so. We're just gonna, you know, keep on going. Also, it's really early. Like, I mean, I guess 9 a.m. is kinda early. I did get nine hours of sleep. But, you know, life of a small child guider. All right, so a little bit of water. Not a lot of water, and you don't wanna mix too much water into your paint. We're looking at no more than 30% water in the paint ever because that affects how it binds. And if it affects how it binds, then we're not gonna get pop proper adherence to 
the actual canvas. So, and this gesso layer, we don't really need to be all that, you know, specific. Really, we're just trying to get this thing covered, you know? It does not need to be all that neat, even. Like I said, just getting this baby covered. You may also notice that gesso, or gesso, however you want to say it, smells a little bit different than regular paint. It has much more of a, like, chemically house paint kind of smell. Also, if you're having trouble following along on where all this gesso is going, join the club. Because really, I'm just kind of guessing with this gesso at this point. <laughs> Got jokes for days. Also, pro tip. Watch for paint splatter. You know. Alright, so that is pretty covered. Alright, we're looking good. Get the edges here. Just make sure there's no major chunks of gesso hanging out. It's pretty flat. Looking good. Alright, and then if you're smart, you will have already picked out your paint colors, but you know, let's just, let's just go for this right now. Let's do a little bit of that. And let's see. I think we picked out a little bit of that. And this is kind of where our handy dandy plan comes in. Because if you see this, we're basically going to color in these sunset areas and this little light area uh, that is the water reflecting the sunset. And then on the other canvas, we'll also do the sunset. But these two sunsets, they don't have to match. Don't get all freaked out. Here we go. This is very loosey goosey. Okay. Here we go, more gesso. Just everybody buckle in. There we go, healthy amount of gesso. All right, so you can add just a splash of water. I'm gonna wipe some of the water off. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this like that. This is gonna make a lot of people cringe, but here we go. And this, this is the whole process right here. You see how we're like, mmm, sunset, right? See? Sunset area, paint. This is really all there is to it, people. All right? More gesso. More painting. So what do you think? You know, you've covered, like I say that is covering the 
area that covers the sunset on our photo. And then I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna do, you know, the water area. So we're gonna pull it a little bit more of that blue. And this is just, you know, this is approximate, you know? This is fine. We're doing so good right now. This is excellent. Right? Here we go. Yep, there we go. And that's this one canvas finish right here. Touch up this bottom a little bit. That's it. And then here is canvas number two. I mean, like, get some of this out, but it's okay. Like, just do that. This is good. We're good. And we're gonna need more. Guess so. You see there's like some very light blue in the gesso and that's okay. We're fine with it. We just keep on guessing. Whatever you do. I'll get the gesso on the brick and make your significant other. Very nice scent. Good stuff on the brick. So that would that would be it. You might want to set up your canvas your easel a little bit better than I did. This thing is like skating all around. But you know, this is a pretty large canvas for such a modestly sized easel. What do you think, Heidi? Think we're getting there? Don't judge me. Not all of us get up with the dawn, you know. Mm -hmm. More gesso. We're gonna need a lot. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of gesso, baby. A lot of gesso. Sorry if this is all blinding you at home. It's kind of blinding me right now. Whoever said that, like, getting up in the morning early and doing all the things, they're what? Seriously. I've never had worse lighting in my life. Alright, do the edges. Looky loo. Alright, we're looking pretty covered. Don't miss any spots, you know? Okay, here we go. So again, now this is canvas number two. So we don't have any water part down below. So we're just doing a little swipey swipe on the top section to do the sunset. And it's fine if you don't have two kind of matching canvases. It's perfectly okay. And this is gonna look a little concerning to some of you, I know, but it's fine, I promise you. You don't need a ton of skill to pull this off. If you're a beginner, as long as you can hold a paintbrush, you're going to be just fine. All right. You can put a little on top here. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to do a little bit more just because we have paint. One tip is you don't want to like work this until it's all blended into one uniform color. 
You know, you want it to be splotchy like this. You want it to have some depth here. So now if we refer back to our plan, we have one mural with a sunset portion and a water portion. And it's okay that there's something in between them. We'll get to that later. And then we have a second mural, which we just did. And that has the sunset portion. And so basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna allow us to be able to see where the sunset is supposed to be. And we may not even need to like paint over this too much, you know? Just get the edge there. So, you know, don't panic. Uh, and this is, this is a solid canvas. This is solid right here. Um, so the next steps, basically, we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to start drawing out our lines for where we're going to put the mountains, and then the other one will draw lines for where we're going to put this water segment. And then we're going to start talking about some different brush techniques that are super simple to learn, but, you know, they'll really impress your friends, even the ones that are artsy. So, all right, let's let these canvases dry.